to have a rational uh, foundation of which to build my beliefs. I, I will appeal to the irrationality of my subjective experience because it's the best thing that I have. And I can only speak, I guess, in, in degrees of probability. Um, so for instance, I trust my senses because it's all I can trust. Um, and I kind of have to appeal to that. I can't. I didn't ask you about your senses. I said, what is the personal absolute that pro provides the foundation of your capacity to reason? And you told me that was matter, energy, causality, and laws of nature. So I'm starting with one of those pillars, which is the impersonal absolute um, that you stand upon in order to reason to withhold belief in God. What is the rational justification that there are causal connections? I don't think I can rationally justify this here. I think it's something that's just assumed to be true. It's like an axiom. Oh, okay, good. So, so, good. So now you've violated your principle that in order to believe in an absolute that is personal, you require a rational justification. But when it comes to your just adoption... Just something that I just said. Okay, okay. So, so you're violating your own principle when you believe sure. in an impersonal absolute. You don't require rational justification. So you have a double standard and you're inconsistent. So you violate your own principle upon which the foundation you claim to reason okay so this is the part where you tell me that your justification for god is just no, what I'm, no, my justification no, the, for existing no, so i'm supposed is, to believe in god for no reason point is, the point is your atheism is uh -huh. irrational is irrational by your own principle sure you're because, violating, I, because you're, i can't fully 100 violate justify my existence are you I mean, violating your own principle sir to, to some extent, sure. No, either you are or not. Are you violating your own central principle that you employ for atheism? Because I cannot deductively prove that I exist, like, independent of any type of observation? Sure, I, I'm violating okay. that, yeah. Okay, so you... That but that doesn't get me so to... You're um, so, so, you're, so your atheism um, is standing on a violation of your own principle of atheism, right? Okay, sure. Okay, good. So then your atheism is irrational. Okay, sure. Well, do, is your atheism rational? Or is it uh, I, if you say it's not, it's not. No, I didn't say it was either one. I said, I, I These said. These kinds of like you, esoteric you know. arguments. We, we, we it's, not esoteric, like, no, it's not an esoteric. No, it's not an esoteric argument. Esoteric. It is incredibly esoteric. No, when, no, it's when, not. Any, when any, yeah, of yeah, course, of course, when any discussion about the existence of God like relies on like examining these fundamental natures of the universe or existence and, and you try to point out that like you're incapable of like inherently justifying you, you know what is what is essentially unjustifiable right that my conscious experience of my observations can somehow be independently you know verified or whatever and then you try to say well since you can't do this all of a sudden you know you're, you're as irrational as i am i think is an incredibly ridiculous way to no i didn't i know that's religion. not that's not what i said and you're putting words in my mouth I'm sure, I'm sure, out. And I well so wait, i'm simply I'm pointing out i'm simply pointing out of course, that i'm a massive that you're, that, sure. uh, no i'm simply pointing out that your atheism which depends upon your central principle that in order to believe in an absolute and an absolute that is personal you require justification but you completely flip-flop that and abandoned that central principle of atheism gotcha. when, when you claim to be able to reason about withholding belief in god and you believe in an impersonal absolute for which you have admitted you have no rational justification sure. so your so your atheism by your own concession um, is violating its own principle, which makes it irrational. Now, do gotcha. you want to maintain that your atheism is rational? Um, no, I'll say it's irrational. Do you have any other arguments uh, in favor okay. of God that don't rely on incredibly yeah. esoteric appeals to yeah, the, the nature the, of existence yeah, the, in the universe? The, or... the, the proof of God is that without him, you, you can prove nothing. Now, can you prove something without starting with the existence of the Christian God, sir? Pro <laughs> can you... Can you prove anything is is the case, or or, or do all of I you? I mean, like do all, prove it. Well, wait a minute. I'm not done. Percent? I'm not done with my oh, question, okay. sir. I heard the. You asked. Yeah. I, but, I, hold on, Darth. Darth, 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 wait before you ask that yeah. question. So, so Darth, Darth, just you like Darth will go on for as long as you want. So, I mean, you can go on for as long as you want. Just sure. like if you want to end, just let me know. Well, do, well, does he do anything besides like the the really esoteric arguments appealing to like the fabric of the universe, or is this? No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just asking you what your criterion of beliefs are, and then I'm seeing that if you're, if you're actually following it, and it turns out by your own concession, you, you abandon it in order to claim to reason. Your reason depends on the prerequisite of the impersonal absolute of matter, energy, laws of nature. When I asked you for the rational justification for that, you said you don't have one, which means you're violating your own principle to believe in that which is the absolute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but you're asking me to rationally justify something that I believe on an axiomatic foundation, right? So I can't possibly do that. I can't possibly justify Good. So you're violating your no, no, principle. No, 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 no. But, but all axioms are not equal philosophical. Yeah, this is a ridiculous I'm not talking notion. about, okay, oh, what you yeah, doing? Wait, wait, hold, yeah. wait, can I finish yeah. this? It, yeah, but you're misrepresenting what I'm saying. Okay, if Sorry, I misrepresent you, then you can correct me at the end, okay? Because it sounds to me like what you're saying is because I cannot justify rationally the existence of a, a 
materialistic universe that all of a sudden everything else becomes equally uh, plausible, which I totally reject. No, I, did, I didn't say that. Okay, that's can you tell my, me which part of that statement was that's incorrect? That's not my position. First, first of all, um, you are um, when you when you claim to reason about anything, it rests upon um, a, a principle, and that is the impersonal absolute. Okay, okay. You, have, you have conceded that, but um, you believe in that. Uh, impersonal absolute in violated violation of your central principle, which you will not believe in a particular absolute such as God without rational justification. But you you say that you reason um, that God is unworthy of belief because rational justification hasn't been given for God as an absolute. But you turn right around and say that you reason in virtue of an absolute of matter, energy, cause. Uh, causality laws of nature. But you have just said that you don't have a rational justification when I tried to for causality. When, when you're I violating to, your own principle, sir. When I try to justify this to some extent, to say that I believe that this foundation of which I build my views is, is valid and I appeal to my senses, you tell me that I'm not allowed to use my senses to, to justify anything. I didn't though. mention senses, sir. Okay, I'm sorry, because when I said that I could observe causality, you said that it's not fair to say that. No, that's a, that that's a fallacious argument. Because Can you tell me why it's fallacious? Yeah, because um, uh, eyesight is a set of causal connections. Would eyesight be meaningful if it wasn't the case that causal connections existed first? Okay, so is the statement like, I think, therefore I am, is that a circular no, sir, statement? No, sir, you, you just completely ignored my question. Would eyesight well, no, be No, I meaningful? agree that it's circular. And I finish I mean, my response, please? Yeah, sure. okay. Now, would eyesight be a meaningful and viable concept if you didn't presuppose causal connections first? Probably not. Okay, good. So you're presupposing uh, causality inherent within eyesight. Eyesight is a label for a set of causal connections. So when you appeal to eyesight to justify the causal connections or rationally justify it, all you're simply saying is uh, eyesight, which is a set of causal connections, therefore causal connections. So all you're saying is causal connections, therefore causal connections. Do you accept circular reasoning as a valid form of uh, argu uh, justifying things? For fundamental beliefs, yes. Oh, okay. So, so in other words, therefore, if I say God exists, therefore God exists, do you accept that line of our argument? I mean, that's pretty much what Christians do, no? No. Do you do you accept that line of reasoning, sir? No, I don't, because I don't think. Good. That they, then why do you, then why do you accept causality, therefore causality? Because I think a belief in God is 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 on a higher level than a sir, fundamental sir, assumption. They're both they're they're both, they're sorry, both, sorry, they're sorry, both sorry, circular sorry, arguments. Sorry, sorry, wait, wait, don't interrupt. So, like, I so, I feel like in terms if one is of fallacious like, than the other fallacious, sir. I don't. I don't agree that you can equate these two things. The materialistic. Sir, it's, they're both circular. <laughs> no, Darth. Darth. Bye, again, bye. No, Darth. Darth. Again, I, do not interrupt. Or no, I. I just. It feels like. Um. Like if I say that I am going to presuppose that my senses are trustworthy and that I can establish causal chains using my personal senses, that that we can you from that foundation, I can evaluate the existence of God. But I don't think we can start with the existence of God and then evaluate the the logicality of, of senses. I don't, I don't think you could start from that foundation. So, so is is it a valid form of argument if I say Martians exist, therefore Martians exist? Is that valid? I feel like you're trying to equate justifications for logical statements with okay. like axiomatic it, it, foundational beliefs. It doesn't feel fair to me. It, like, do you accept reasoning? Reasoning that exists independent of humans or, or of mankind? You, sure, yeah. Do you accept circular reasoning if I said Martians exist, therefore Martians I don't exist? I, I, it feels to me like you're saying my axioms are circular when axioms by definition are unjustified. So I don't feel like I can ever answer this question for you entirely being evasive to my question, and I understand why. Now, I asked you a question. If I argue uh, Martians exist, therefore Martians exist, is that a, f a valid form of rational justification? No. Okay, good. What if I said causality, therefore causality? Is that a valid rational justification? I, I don't think I'm equipped to have this conversation. I, I don't know how to... Well, well to sir, this sir, sir what's, yeah. the, what's the difference between saying causality, therefore causality, versus Martians exist, therefore Martians exist? Because There's causality, therefore causality, is a, is a fair axiomatic statement that I think 99% why, why of people... Why is it... Can I finish my answer there, at least? There, there, right? there, there, Martians, Martians existing is like a very high-order thought. Like, this is something that, um, that, that we can look to uh, to verify in a number of ways to discuss the definitions of what is Martian, etc., what is not Martian. How, where would they exist? Like these are very high level things, you know. Like, um, do you know is this song, uh, you know, a fast song or a slow song? It's not the same question as do we arise from material properties, right? Like whether or not mankind and our experiences arises from material properties is like a axiomatic foundational question that has no justification by default. Just because that has no justification doesn't make every single unjustified statement fair.
right? Not not all axioms are equal. I, I so for instance, I could say like um, I believe that all people should be treated equally, and that could be like an axiomatic foundation of which to build beliefs. But saying that going 65 miles per hour in a 50 mile per hour zone gets you a hundred and fifty dollar fine is not probably a fair axiomatic statement. That yeah, sorry. Your response was an entire filibuster and was a complete misdirection. <laughs> you, were not re- you were not responding. You can laugh all you want, but I will tell you to your face that what you did, uh, you, 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 completely, uh, you completely evaded my question. Now, you said that the, a type of reasoning where if I assert Martians exist, therefore Martians exist, you said that's not valid because it's circular, but you're asserting causality, therefore causality. They're both employing the same circularity why is one why so why, to, why is one this. excuse me why why is circular reasoning that is being used in exactly the same way as you are when you say causality therefore causality why is that a rational justification and why is when if i say martians exist therefore martians exist they're both employing uh, a stipulation um and then saying therefore from the initial stipulation they're both circular reasoning so why is one invalid and not the other I, I have already explained this. If we no, you didn't. It, Your response I, was totally. My my response was that I believe that one statement can be unjustified, and I think the other statement requires justifications. If we can't agree on that, then we can't really go anywhere from there. I maybe I'm incorrect in that, and I don't have the necessary philosophy to discuss this with you. But that that would be my my assertion is. I'm not trying to filibuster you, but um, that, that you can take certain axiomatic principles for granted. They can be unjustified by default, but saying Martians, therefore Martians, is like a much higher level thought that requires justification. Okay. Um, so, I mean, Destiny, you're ready to move on or you want to keep going? It's totally up um, to you, but I promise he'll go on for as long as you sure. want. I mean, I don't, I don't want to feel like I'm like cutting him off, which is rude, but I don't want like everybody else to get super cocky. If he wants, we, he can come back at the end, I guess, and we can talk more if he wants. Um, I just don't want to... I mean, it's like uh, he, he like well, we well, we can keep this going for as long as we want. Like we don't really have time limits. When it, our time limit is your time limit. So if you want to keep going with Darth, like you can go. Like that's totally fine. It's up to you though. Um, what? How about what, how about at the end of this, we'll come back and we can do it again if you want. Okay. Sounds good. Does that does that sound sound fair to you, Darth? Um, I have to leave in less than five minutes. Oh well, I mean, we can. We're going to be circularly, circularly. Well, sir, around sir, the- your second, your second oh, answer God. to me was yeah. just simply a complete repeat, repeat of just simply filibustering and avoiding the question, gotcha. uh, make, making an assert, ma- making an assertion, and then saying therefore and repeating the assertion mm-hmm. is circular. Your reasonings. You want to say that one is rational justification where the other the, there's not. They're both circular reasoning. And sure. so all you're just okay, giving wait. me is a filibuster double talk response. Gotcha. Now, okay. Wait, now, wait, 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 wait. So can, can I, you so, me? so you're admitting just... so you're admitting that your justification for your impersonal um uh, absolute is 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 entirely circular in nature. Isn't yep. circular re- reasoning in philosophy deemed to be fallacious? Not at all points in time. Um, oh, okay. Can you, can really? you, can you give me an example where I've already reasoning? said I've said that axioms tend can, to be unjustified or, or are unjustified by definition, which in your apparent world is is circular. So, can, can you just give me your spiel for God since you've got like only four minutes? I just I want to hear you build it up for me because we're going to go back and forth on this. Why forever. don't you accept God as an axiom? Because he's because based on everything that I believe to be true arising from materialistic properties, there's no observation. Right. Evidence for the okay. Good. Of God. So all you're simply saying is the uh, invocation of God is uh, doesn't conform and cohere to what you imagine. Okay. Yep. That's not a, that's not an argument, sir. Okay. Do you have okay. anything else, or is yeah. that only you, esoteric? You, well, well when, you, when you when you say when you say rational justification, when you mean verification, uh, is verification is that which conforms to your ultimate standard? conforms to what my senses can observe no i didn't ask you about your senses i said your ultimate standard what is the ultimate standard can you okay would would you, well your ultimate standard for you would probably be you, your reason unless you want to tell me otherwise sure yeah reason setting okay up, uh, okay good yeah, can yeah. you expl- okay can you explain to me why your reason is the ultimate standard what is it based nope upon? it's unjustified i can't do it it's an axiomatic okay okay okay, okay good so okay mm-hmm. so your capacity to reason is unjustified but then you reason that God is unworthy of belief, but you said that your reason is unjustified. So yep, that's how philosophy good. works. You so, build so, on what, so what you're telling me, right? So then, what, so, then what you, yes. so then what you're telling me then is your 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 um your rational process that God is unworthy of be, belief is not actually a rational process, though. No, I no, disagree I, with that. 
Oh, is there is there is there a basis? Sure, yeah, which I've already said. Let's see if I can say what you're doing to me again. That I think that off of subjective off of subjective axioms that are unjustified, you can build logical and internally. Okay, okay, that's fine. That you can you can build on them, but it's a foundation that is that is empty. It's it's yeah. That welcome to every single axiom. Your axiom is just as empty as mine. Right. So how do you know that? What? How do I know that? Because you can't appeal to the. Because you're you're just another human. What do you mean? How how do I know that? Whatever I, foundation I, I, you build your beliefs off of is going to be just as arbitrary as mine. Do you not acknowledge that? Okay, which is a classic technique to be argumentative to avoid my question. Now, it's I hope not, Well, no, 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 no. It's not a technique. Like you've been talking 90% of the time, talk, dude. All right, go for it. Give me. Now, I hold to the Christian I hold to the Christian worldview, which states that I know certain things not based upon axioms, but be based upon God's revelatory acts. Now, if you are How can you know? Wait, 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 may I, may I, sir, may I no, finish? Please? No, you can't, because I want to ask you now, because you just got to drill down for an hour on my personal philosophy. How can you know what God's commands are? That my fundamental foundational mental states are axiomatic in nature. Now, in the Christian worldview, my most fundamental mental states are not axiomatic. They would be indefinite in the definition of the Christian worldview. They Wait would be. How can I mean, you I'd know? like to finish. This is the fifth time. You're you know, filibustering me, sir. I'm not, sir. I'm trying. And in fact, hey, go, go ahead. <laughs> no, it's okay. You can finish. Not only, am I not, fil- not only am I not filibustering, what I'm saying is entirely germane to what we're talking about. Unlike you, you tried to change the subject. Now, I ask you, okay, um, I, you stated that my fundamental mental states and my fundamental uh, beliefs are axiomatic in nature, which means there is no justificatory path. But in the Christian worldview, our me- fundamental commitments and mental states um, are God-ordained. Now, since you, since you reject that, and you say that my my ultimate commitment of the revelation of the Christian God is axiomatic, then what necessarily follows from that is the falsity of the Christian worldview and the Christian God. Do you have a a rational justification that the Christian God does not in fact exist? I don't want to answer your question because if you like can't if you, you cannot show, question. I'm not done yet. If you cannot if you cannot show in a logically necessary way that the Christian God does not exist, then your stipulation that my fundamental commitment and foundational beliefs about Christianity, you cannot show that they are necessarily axioms. But if you're going to stick that they are axioms, then you're going to have to show the falsity of the Christian God. Can you do that? What I want to know, what you did not answer adequately. I asked you. A- I don't care that you asked me a question. I asked you first, and I feel like you haven't answered it yet. I do not appreciate being filibustered, sir. What I want to know is how are you able to perceive the teachings of God? I want to know by, by what, what do you build fundamentally on that allows you to perceive the teachings or to read something in a book or to hear something that a, a preacher says. I want to know wh- what you build this from f- foundationally. I just want to do a community college lecture. Now, okay. the answer, wait, to, the answer to your no, question. Wait. I'm sorry, because <laughs> the, answer, of the fact of the, the matter is at the, the end of the day, your foundations are just as arbitrary as mine, but you seem to not think so. And you are relying on your senses just as much as I am to hear about whatever made up religion you want to hear about. So I want to know why you think your foundational way of interpreting this is more valid than my foundational way. When in the, fa- the fact of the matter is both of them are just as arbitrary and subjective as the other. All right. Did everybody hear that? Yeah. Did everybody just hear what he just conceded to? He just didn't I didn't concede that. anything. I'm, okay, sir, I was just muted, and I would appreciate that I'm if sorry. you would not uh, over talk okay. me and try to I'm obstruct sorry. my ability to respond. Okay. Did you just did you just state that both of our views are ultimately arbitrary? That the foundations of them are, yeah, of course. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. So basically, your atheism is in actuality at its foundation in terms of its ultimate framework, arbitrary. Therefore, if Every, you're arbitrary, then, okay, then, then I, no, I, all, I have well, to cut you, you off you because say, you're incredibly disingenuous right now. Every single philosophy and every single statement that has ever been made in the history of all of mankind is arbitrary if the foundational axioms are arbitrary. That's what you're saying. Nobody believes that. Nobody agrees with that. Most people acknowledge that axioms are arbitrary or unjustified. Just because you build something off of an unjustified axiom doesn't make those statements all equivalently like illogical or irrational. You can build consistent, rational, logical systems off of unjustified foundational axioms. Do you acknowledge that or no? 
Uh, yeah, I don't appreciate how you're talking oh over God, me when I'm attempting to respond. Right. Now, the Can fact you answer the that fact, one question. The or fact no? that yeah, I'm answering the question. Uh, I don't accept that um, uh, all of our ultimate starting points are uh, arbitrary. That is your assertion. Nor do I care what other people believe. I'm asking you what you believe. Now, you have admitted that all of the ideas and lines of reasoning that you put forth ultimately depend upon a foundation of arbitrariness. Now, if you, yours, if you, okay, yes. sir, sir, sir. Okay, now if you say that my foundational commitments or starting points are are arbitrary that necessarily entails the falsity of the christian god do you understand that that necessarily follows not necessarily because no, I don't no know sir I... no sir it necessarily I just said follows. Answer, no let me, not, let me, let me explain to you it's incorrect okay because okay. if you assert if you assert that my most uh, ultimate commitment that the Christian God has revealed himself through natural and spe special revelation. If you say that that most fundamental commitment that I hold to is arbitrary, then it, it necessarily follows the Christian God uh, does not exist. Because in the case that the Christian God does exist, that fundamental commitment is not arbitrary. It is granted and ordained by God. And by definition within the Christian worldview, it wouldn't be arbitrary. Now, if it is the case, that my most foundational commitment that the Christian God has revealed himself in natural and special revelation. And it, if that, if that ultimate commitment and foundational belief that I have is in fact arbitrary, as you say, that necessarily follows that the Christian God does not exist. Now in the case that the Christian God would exist, that would render your statement is not necessarily true. Do you have a rational justification that the Christian God does not in fact exist? If I'm starting from my materialistic fundamentals of the universe, I believe that no evidence has been presented that would compel me to believe that God exists. Question. I said, do you have a rational justification that the Christian God necessarily does not exist? Of course not. I don't think you can okay, ever good. say okay, that something good. necessarily so, is it Okay, so then is it possible that the Christian God might exist, sir? It's possible that anything might exist. Okay, sure. good. In the case that the Christian God exists, would my fundamental commitment that the Christian God has revealed himself, would it be arbitrary or would it be ordained of God in the existence of the Christian God? I don't know. I guess it would depend on... Well, the answer... No, the answer... No. I can't think of Sorry. anything more sad than building like a high-level belief off of a God, off of a single like axiomatic, unjustified assumption, and then pretending that your assumption is any more justified than my fundamental assumptions. That seems like pretty ridiculous. Sure. Now, you just said that you cannot show that the Christian God does not exist. Therefore, in the case that the Christian God might exist and you said it's possible, then it, it, when you assert that my fundamental commitment that the Christian God has revealed himself is not necessarily arbitrary. And if it's not necessarily arbitrary, then when you assert that it is arbitrary, you're just speculating. You have not de demonstrated that that is necessarily true. And you're just speculating. And in fact, everything that you reason, according to your own admittance, starts from an arbitrary foundation. So therefore, okay, it doesn't, it doesn't, I'm not done yet. I'm not done well, yet. You You've over-talked me many times. <laughs> You've over-talked me many oh, times. God. And I understand because you're trying to hide from the fact that you have, and that I'm focusing, that you have ultimately conceded that no matter how sophisticated your discursive reasoning is, it ultimately rests upon a foundation that is entirely um, arbitrary. So if you, if you reason A because of B, because of C, because of D, and then you say it ends up all the way at Z and Z is arbitrary, the whole chain of discursive reasoning from A to Z is in fact ultimately arbitrary arbitrary that is not a fair okay. comparison when you no, say, no, when no sir over, no, you're, stop. You're, you're talking the broken point logic is, and anyway no, no, I, I, oh no i don't want you to mute him because that feels really, really dirty oh god okay don't, god. don't. yeah okay i won't mute him. go for it go. okay I wait I'm, I'm just saying that like your statement that from a to b to c to c whatever you're implying that that like axioms have already been established before logical statements are made like premise 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 conclusion okay and, and you say, well, if you start with, a, with an unjustified axiom, all your logical statements are false. That's not true. You can have an unjustified axiom, as all axioms are, and then build logical statements, A, B, C, D, U, that it can be internally consistent. Wait, did, did you, did you nice. bully him out? Did he leave? Nice. Nice. Oh. Did I say that? Darth? Darth? Maybe he's getting a communication from God for how to proceed. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Darth, you laugh? Uh, no, I think he's. I think he's. I think he's dead. You fucking bullied him out, dude. God damn it! All right, okay. I'm sorry. Fuck. Okay. Um.
I'm sure. Well, he did say he needed to go in five minutes, like 20, 20 minutes, minutes ago. ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. So uh, I'm sure he'll. I'm sure he'll be back. Um, or maybe his mic messed up or something because that's been happening recently. Let's move on to the, to the next question for now, I guess. Um, FK, you wanted to ask a question? Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> so mine isn't going to be as uh, in depth as what just happened. Thank you. 